I have to say this unboxing is exciting for me and I hope it is for you because I have had so many of you reach out to me and say, have you tried one of those new air fryers? And I haven't. Um, I haven't um, purchased one and I haven't given one a try so I can't answer all of those questions for you and I think that because these are pretty new on the market in the last year or so really how um, to see how good they actually work so um, several of you asked specifically about the uh, power XL air fryer or the air fryer yeah power air fryer XL so since those folks uh, at TriStar products were kind enough to share their Copper Chef pan and their Power Pressure XL pressure cooker with me I thought I would reach out to them and see if they would be kind enough to share one of these air fryers with me and guess what it arrived on my doorstep today and I thought it would be fun to go ahead and do an unboxing um, in this video, we're going to unbox this tonight, and then uh, in an, on a, at another day, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use it for the first time. So, um, I think this is the divider. It comes with a divider, um, so you can actually use the the uh, the vessel for more than one item. So I'm going to set that off to the side. And of course, here's all the information that it comes with, and it comes with a little cookbooklet and an instruction booklet with all sorts of fun recipes of things you can make in here. Now, I understand that these use very little oil, but they give you a fried result. So I thought we're gonna go ahead and give this a try and I'm gonna show you how it works and you're gonna be able to see firsthand um, as we are, as we use it for the first time, how this is gonna work, how easy it is to use and um, how good the results are gonna be. Or not. I, I'm pretty confident that they're going to be okay, but like I said, because I've never used one of these before, I have no, no idea. All right, let's get this out of the bag. So I'm excited to use this and, and see how it works. So uh, in the next segment of this video, we're going to come back and we're going to cook something in it for you. And, um, and we'll show you how it works and you'll get to see it just like we do. So we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, we're going to share with you how we use this air fryer. And we're gonna start off by making a little dinner and we're gonna use, um, we're gonna heat up some leftover barbecue chicken breast and I'm gonna make some potato wedges in here. So we're gonna start with the potato wedges because they take the longest. And it's recommended that you preheat the unit before you use it. So since I'm making potato wedges, I have two potatoes that I have seasoned with a little hamburger and fry seasoning, along with one tablespoon of oil. And we preheated the unit at 400 degrees because that is the, um, the temperature at which we're going to cook this. So I preheated the unit to 400 degrees and I just prepared my, my potatoes. And we're just gonna go ahead and toss them in there. Easy as pie, okay? And now I'm going to pop this in there. You wanna make sure that they're not too crowded and they're kind of nestled down in there in a single layer. Now I have tried, now I've been playing with this, I've tried to cook an entire bag of, of um, French fries, and that didn't work. You can only do half at a time if you want to get them crispy. So, like I showed you before, the digital display engages when the drawer is seated properly. So, we're going to hit this. We want it to cook for 15 minutes, but we want it, we want it to be at 400 degrees. You can set your time and your temperature, and then you can hit the start button and you see this digital display it shows the fan it's a little bit animated that's when you know it's working plus you can hear it it's very audible so we're gonna go ahead and let these fries cook for 15 minutes and when we come back I'll show you what they look like and we'll put our chicken in and then I'll show you how to heat up your leftovers and then we're gonna show you how to do a couple of other things in this video as well I'm not gonna go in depth too much I'm just gonna show you what you can do and then in future videos, we're going to really concentrate on how to cook specific things in the air fryer, and we'll go into more detail about how we do them. So when the fries are done, we'll come back and we'll show you what they look like. All right, our 15 minutes is up, and look, 
Look it. Mm -hmm. I know I sound like a kid. Look it, look it. Amazing. Look, they're crispy mm -hmm. and they look beautiful. I'm really excited. Now these, when I cook these in the oven, I take 35 to 40 minutes, no joke. And that's with a tablespoon of oil. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dump these in this pan because I'm gonna go ahead and use this again. I'm gonna reuse it to make my, um, to reheat my chicken. And these are steamy hot and they're beautiful. These are beautiful, look. You can see they're nice and fluffy on the inside and they're steamy and they're cooked through. Just in case you didn't think they could be cooked through in 15 minutes. I'm really impressed, honestly. Uh, I'm really impressed. And so our machine is already preheated because we cooked our potato wedges. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take these and I'm gonna set them in here. Yeah, they're already cooked, they just need to be heated. They just need to be reheated, that is all. And that foil is only so I don't have to clean up a bigger mess, okay? And I don't want it to burn because you know that barbecue sauce is, has some sugar in it. So we'll prep, do this. I'm honestly, I'm taking it down to five minutes and I'm taking it down to 325. Okay, 330 because it doesn't have increments of five. So that's something we learned. And it automatically starts if you don't hit the start button. So we'll be back when our chicken is heated up and we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, our timer went off after five minutes at 325 and these look fantastic. They are warmed through and I'm just gonna remove them to a plate. You can feel the heat on and they smell great. Smell like this came up and grill. you know what? They're not dried out. You know, sometimes when you reheat things it gets dried out and gross. That's what I like about this is they kept it nice and moist and it's because of that circulating air in there that's really, after using this for quite some time, um, Honestly, those came out better than I thought they would. I don't think he had many hopes for that. But these are both the vessel and the basket you can put in the dishwasher. So that is a plus as well. We're gonna go ahead and enjoy our dinner. We're gonna be showing you two more things. We're gonna show you how to cook frozen hamburgers in here and also how to cook frozen chicken patties. We always like to keep those frozen chicken patties um, in the freezer, especially in the summer when the girls are home from school. Um, they're quick to make, but in here, they're really quick to make. They take 10 minutes. I can fit three or four if I place them the right way in here and they come out crispy and delicious every single time. So I'm gonna show you how we do that um, and so stay tuned and we'll, we'll go over those things as well. All right, now we're gonna show you how easy it is to throw a couple of chicken patties in here. Now, maybe this isn't something that you keep on hand, but during the summer, we like to have these on hand because they're super easy to make, and in the air fryer, they're really extra super easy to make. I like this because, you know what? It, my girls are essentially grown, all right? But Micah doesn't like to cook that much. And this, she will make herself quesadilla, grilled cheese, macaroni, stuff like that. But super simple stuff. When we got the air fryer and then we brought home the chicken patties to start testing, um, she would just go ahead and make them for herself. They're super simple to make and she finds this to be not a daunting thing. So I think even like a child who's like 12, maybe even 10, I think you could teach them how to responsibly use this piece of equipment. Um, you'll see what I did is I sprayed them with coconut oil spray, you can use vegetable oil spray, whatever you have on both sides. And I'm gonna pop it in here. You can see that I can easily cook up to four of those patties at one time. So what we're gonna do is we're going to set this for 10 minutes for 370, which is the um, the default temperature. You can hit the go button or you can just wait and it's automatically gonna turn on. These are gonna come out crispy and delicious and ready for your sandwich. So we're gonna let these chicken patties cook and we'll be back and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, our 10 minutes is up and I just wanted to show you guys. You can hear how crispy these are and they're great. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have lunch. 
using these. We're just going to put them on a couple of sandwiches. And that's easy. This, I think I mentioned, the vessel and the basket are both dishwasher safe and we have tested that out and they go through the dishwasher perfectly fine they came out without a scratch they're not discolored they washed up beautifully and really you know i the more i use this thing the more impressed i am so you know they didn't pay me to do this video at all they did however send me the machine so um we're gonna go ahead and have our lunch and then we're gonna make you one more thing we're gonna show you how to do frozen hamburger patties in here that um, you can just if you want a hamburger on the fly like I said I think this is really great for your kids and for you I think it'd be great for empty nesters if they're just a couple of you the other night we just heated up leftover chicken and we made some potato wedge fries and they were great because my girls are currently on vacation with my parents and so it's just Rick and I which is kind of weird but I have to say this served us well for that evening and it's it continues to serve us well we really really do like it so we'll be back and we'll show you one more uh, application and then we'll give you some more information about this uh, power air fryer XL um, I, I'm just I continue to be impressed by it all right, our final thing we're going to share is how you cook burgers in this air fryer. Um, I Like I said, this thing is so versatile. Don't just think it's a fryer, okay? Not for fried-ish things. This is a mini convection oven that superheats and cooks super fast. So we're going to cook burgers in here for our lunch today. I have two Angus beef burger patties that were frozen. They still are frozen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sprinkle these with some of my burger and fry seasoning that I demonstrated in another video. And we preheated the machine already. So I'm going to go ahead and and put these burgers in here um, on the flip side. So like I said, sometimes you might have to just fiddle with them a little bit, but don't worry because it's gonna shrink up, okay? So I'm gonna sprinkle the other side of the burger with more seasoning. Of course, you do what you like on yours. I'm gonna pop these in for 15 minutes because we want them to be good and done. And I'm gonna cook them at 350. 15 minutes. Oh, wait. Oh. Uh, and 350. Now we're gonna let that go, and we'll be back when they're ready, and we'll show you what they look like. Okay, our burgers are done, and I know you're gonna say they look really like they shrank, but they did, and they were, um, they were Angus, and they, this is what they look like on the bottom. So they're not burnt. They're not, not at all. They're just they're done and they're not like overcooked either. So um they're gonna shrink because they're Angus beef and they had a lot of fat in them. But what I wanted to show you is this. Is that this this comes out, right? Look at all the fat in the bottom of that vessel that is not going into you. Um that's a lot. I mean I know some of it's gonna be water and protein from the meat but there's a lot of fat there that didn't go onto our burger so again this can just go right in the dishwasher and you're going to be ready and good to go so that's it that is the skinny on the power air fryer xl turn one over okay there we go there we go and i don't it's super juicy and, and it's cooked all the way. I'll just take a sliver out of that. But you can see it's cooked all the way. It's nice and moist, not dried out. Oh, it's good. You can adjust the timing to suit your preference. These were cooked from frozen, so you have to remember that as well. Oh, those are good. They're really good. I want to thank the people at TriStar Productions for sending me this piece of equipment to test and play with, and I will be using this often. We do plan on doing other videos. I have a whole list of ideas of things I want to use this for, and I think it's a really amazing appliance. As appliances go, I probably will use this as much as I use my pressure cooker, the Power Pressure XL. I love my pressure cooker. Super nice things to have on hand in your kitchen to make cooking a little bit easier, a little bit faster, and a little bit healthier. Um, Did we mention camping? 
I think this would be great if you have a camper like Heather and Matt just got, I think this would be a great addition yes. to your camping gear because you could add a whole level of yeah. other cooking or options that you can do. Like I said, I think dorm dwellers, traveling nurses, anybody who's living away from home or in a hotel for any extended period of time. You know, I know a lot of construction guys who go on jobs and they have to be away from home for a long time. Military guys, they live in a dorm sometimes. Mm -hmm. This is a nice thing to have on hand. I'm not trying to sell it to you. I'm seriously, I'm just giving you my opinion. Every Everything that we've put in here has come out really really excellent and I honestly I have to be honest with you I did not think I was going to like it as much as I do Same. I honestly did not think I was gonna like it as much as I do but I like this and I really like the fact that I can pop this in the dishwasher or I can wash it by hand and when I do it's super easy to wash because everything is non-stick so far everything we've put in here has come out really really nice I can't wait to make like homemade chicken nuggets in here and see how those turn out but rest assured that when I do that I will make a video so I can share with you how those things turn out when you make them in the air fryer. Now the only thing that you are limited by is the size of the vessel and just because it's that big doesn't mean you can stuff it full because when you make like frozen fries in here you have to use half a bag you have to make sure that you spray them a little bit with oil and then you have to cook them for a little while and then you have to toss them and then you have to cook them for a little while longer and you got to toss them otherwise they stay mushy in the center um, if you just pop them in there and stick them in there and turn it on they're not all going to cook evenly so that's something you have to remember but otherwise I'm really impressed with this particular appliance. I think it's kind of brilliant and we will be using this more often in upcoming videos. So I hope this has given you kind of an idea. I had so many of you ask me uh, have you ever used an air fryer? And no, I hadn't. So I contacted the company, asked them, hey, will you send me one so I can play with it? And they gladly did. And I want to, uh, I just want to say how appreciative we are for that. I know some of you who are super observant have seen it hanging around my kitchen and have asked me what I think about it. So I hope this kind of clears that up for you and you can uh, look forward to more videos in the future using the air fryer and we'll see uh, how far we can take it and exactly what it will do for us. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please consider giving me a thumbs up and if you are new here welcome because it's always lovely to have another person visit me in my kitchen and I hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button. If you are a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family please be sure and hit that bell notification button because we don't want you to miss out on all the real food for real people real easy recipes that we present right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope that if this fits into your lifestyle or if you have always wondered what these air fryers are all about I hope that this gives you enough information that you are encouraged to go give one a try. I'll leave a link down below where you can find one. And until next time, I'll see ya.